Great conversation on the NBA Finals, on LeBron's legacy, the Warriors' legacy, all of that. The Sunday was sensational. You had Game 7, you had the championship there, and you also had the U.S. Open, Dustin Johnson fighting through that bizarre penalty shot. USGA got that one way wrong, and players have tweeted that all the time for him to win. And also here closer to home, the Nashville Golf Open, first ever one out at the Nashville Golf and Athletic Club. Journeyman James Driscoll wins it at 19 under par. They just destroyed one of the best courses going out there in the Nashville area. 19 under par for the week. He beats Brian Campbell by three shots to take home the trophy. And this is a guy who just, just grinded it out on tour for a long time, had a cup of tea on the PGA Tour, but spent most of his time down to the minors. And now he gets a win that in all likelihood probably puts him back on the PGA Tour next year. I chatted with our golf pro, Virgil Herring, about the first ever National Golf Open and its surprise winner last night on Sunday Sports Central. We bring Virgil back in here. James Driscoll's 38 years old. He's been grinding in the minor leagues of golf for most of his career, and here he is getting his first win in 12 years. How unlikely is that story? Well, it's a, it's a great story for perseverance. It's a great lesson for the junior golfers out there who haven't won a golf tournament yet and still keep working hard because you never know when it's going to be your day. I mean, that just goes to show you that this guy lost in the U.S. Amateur to Jeff Quinney almost 20 20 years ago and now he wins his first tour event. It's probably going to guarantee him his PGA Tour card for next year and that's the thing that's so beautiful is that if you never give up there's always a chance you're going to be able to, to get your reach your goal and that's what makes it so great and especially at a golf course of the caliber of Nashville Golf and Athletic Club which uh, is a, the, probably the sternest test in Nashville and they uh, they put a whipping on it. Unbelievably tricky course and these guys beat it up this weekend the first ever year for the Nashville Golf and Athletic Club to host this Nashville Golf Open. What's it mean for golf in the Mid-State to have professional golf back? I think it's a huge thing because one, Nashville is becoming a very well-known city. It's growing at a record speed and this helps put us on the map for we have the ability to host a, a golf event of that caliber and we have a golf course that's certainly capable of hosting it. I think it's a great thing and I know that the players loved it I, and I know that the community embraced it win 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 all the way around Virgil happy Father's Day we'll see you for another thank you very much week. look forward to it